Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a water filter using only natural materials. It's important that you filter cloudy water because the small particles inside the water can irritate your stomach. First I'm going to start by removing a sheet of bark from this log here. I'm going to be using a log that's already been chopped down so I don't harm another tree. However, in a survival situation, you may have to use a live tree to get your sheet of bark from. It's best, however, if you can look for a tree that's fallen, but the bark can still be removed. <coughs> to remove a sheet of bark, look for a section of the log that has a smooth surface with no branches or knots on it. Then, with a knife, make a slit along through the bark like this. You may want to do it twice to make sure you've got all the way through. Then, from the end of your slit, make another slit running perpendicular to your first one. You can go all the way round, but because there's a knot here, I'm going to make another slit here. Then, with your knife or a stick, or your hands, start to pry up the bark. A useful tool for the job is to get a stick like this and carve a chisel point into the end of your stick. This stick can be run underneath the bark to help get it off. You can also use your hands. Okay, I accidentally split it, but I think this should be big enough. Because this is quite thick bark, I'm just going to slice the top layer off with my knife. One thing to bear in mind is that it's a lot easier to peel off bark in the spring and summer months when the sap's running. In the winter it may be impossible or very hard to peel the bark off. Okay, I've now got a, a thin flexible sheet of bark. Okay, now what you want to do is fold it into a cone shape. I found that if you try and fold it into a cone shape this way, i.e. with the bark grain running that way, it's going to split. To fold the cone, just make a triangle shape like that. You want to make the smallest hole possible at the bottom. Then to hold the cone in shape, I'm going to use a split twig with a piece of string tied so the split doesn't travel all the way down the stick. And I'm just going to put that over the bark like that. I'm going to use this a bit of lime bark to tie around the bottom. I tied a bit of lime bark around the cone to stop it folding out at the bottom, however this ring of bark kept sliding downwards. So to keep it in place I tied more lime bark around this and over the top to hold it up so it didn't slide down. I'm going to collect my sand and rocks from the side of this stream here. Okay I've collected some charcoal from my fire I'm now going to crunch this into a fine powder. The finer the powder, the better it filters the water. Now, if I just poured this charcoal into this um, cone, it'd fall out the bottom. So to prevent this, you put a rock in the bottom of your cone, and then some moss on top, and pack that down. Then you want to fill up your cone with charcoal. Fill it to about halfway and make sure to press it down. Then, here's the sand I collected earlier, put a layer of this on top. As before, make sure to compact it down. I'm going to put a layer of rocks on top so that the rocks break the force of the water so the sand doesn't get eroded. Okay, now I need to make a, a tripod so I can hang this to make a tripod, get three sticks of equal length and a piece of string like this. Then wrap the string around the top tightly. Then you can open them out. Okay, I've now hung up my filter on the tripod and you now want to put some water through it before you collect drinkable water. This just washes out the system so any muddy bits that are at the bottom will get washed out. 
as you can see, this filter isn't working because the water's running out of the side, not out the bottom. This is because I didn't fold it tightly enough. Okay, so I've been trying to fix the problem by um, lifting the back of the filter up so that the water has to travel along this edge rather than the edge where the folds are. The problem with doing this though is that gravity ha is having less of an effect on the water so not much water is getting out the bottom. I think I'm going to have to repeat the whole process again but this time use a bigger bit of bark so that when I fold it to make the cone there's more of an overlap so it's less likely that water can get through. Okay guys, I'm having a few issues trying to fold a new piece of bark. If you look on the inside, you can see this bit's folded up. And this is because at the base, this bit's getting all twisted here. I thought the reason it was kinking was maybe because there wasn't enough flexibility in the bark. However, this side, I trimmed down like, extremely thin and it still kinks. But this side is thicker, but doesn't kink. Let me know in the comments if you have any idea why this is happening. Okay, what I'm going to do to get rid of this is just flatten it down. You can see it's now a bit flatter. I've put quite a big overlap on this time as well, so hopefully less water is going to escape. You want your filter to be compact on the inside so that water drips out but doesn't flow out. This shows that your filter is working properly. Okay, so I've mixed some mud into this water here. So now I'm going to run it through the filter and see what coloured water comes out the bottom. In this video I've used a cone of bark to hold all my filter materials inside. However, different materials can be used instead of this. For example, you can make a clay bowl with a, a hole in the bottom. You could also use man-made materials such as a plastic bottle. It may also be possible to make a burn bowl with a small hole in the bottom. Okay guys, I've been filtering the water for a while now and the results aren't great. So this was the water I put in at the to start with and this is the water I got out. Okay, so I filtered the water for a, th a second time and that's the result I got there. Okay, so I've now created another water filter using a bottle and they're same quantities of charcoal and sand. I compacted it down a bit as before and I've left the water in there for maybe five minutes now and I'm surprised because no water has actually come out the bottom. Maybe this is because I compacted it too much. This may indicate that all the water that I thought was being filtered was actually just seeping out the side of my cone shaped piece of bark. Okay I've left this here for maybe half an hour now and the water at the bottom looks crystal clear however it's taking so long okay so I've now replaced the the inside of this bottle the only difference is I haven't compacted it down now it's dripping out a lot faster which is good you shouldn't compact down the material inside your filter because it slows it down the second thing I've learned is that when you make a cone water escapes out the side of the cone instead of going through all the filter materials. Okay, I was looking for some pine resin and I came across this tree which seemed to have a lot of sap running out of it. So I think I'm going to use this instead of pine resin. I'm not sure what tree this is, but here's some of the needles that I found on the tree so maybe someone else can identify it. As you can see by these slit marks here, the wounds that have created the this amount of sap is actually man-made. So it's unlikely that you will find the same quantity of sap as this. So I'm now going to make some pine resin glue. If you add more charcoal, the glue is going to be very brittle. If you add less charcoal, the, the glue is not going to be as strong. So you just might want to experiment, see what works best for you. And I'm just going to melt it over the fire. You could also do this on a, a large flat rock, but it's a lot easier to do it in a tin. You want to keep stirring it so that some parts of it don't start to boil. Because if it boils, it burns off some of the chemicals inside the sap. Okay, I'm now going to put in the charcoal. Okay, now what I'm going to do 
paint it on the sides of this filter here. Not quite to the bottom because I want the water to escape at the bottom. Hold it down while it sets. I'm now going to paint some of the glue along the inside just to properly make sure it's watertight. Okay, if you look on the inside now, you can see that I've sealed the gap. Hopefully, now when I pour the water in, the water should only come out the bottom and not the sides. Alright, so I'm going to put the filter materials inside attach it to this and let's see if we get clean water. The sap glue gets on your hands a lot and it's really hard to get off. So a good method for taking the sap off is to wash your hands with sand and this abrades off the, the sap. Okay, I'm now gonna pour this cloudy water into the filter to see what color it comes out. Okay, so I've left it for about five minutes now and as you can see, the water is a lot clearer after the filter. So this method of making a filter really does work.